Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Stan Cool, and today I'm bringing a very different video. Now today, I'm back on that Retro Bowl. You guys know I love this game. I brought it to the channel. You guys seem to like it. I think more people will watch it if I stay consistent and posted it more, so we're back on it. But this time, I'm starting the series over. Bruh. I'm starting as the Green Bay Packers this time. I was under the assumption that Aaron Rodgers wouldn't be our quarterback. He still is, so we're good. Here's the team. We have quarterback Aaron Rodgers, defensive back Jair Alexander, and kicker Mason Crosby. This is our quarterback stats. He's a two star in this game. Completely inaccurate, but we're fine. His morale is poor. He has a sad face, and that's probably because Devontae Adams is no longer with us, which makes me sad. Extremely sad. So I understand why you have a frown on your face. Jair Alexander is kind of like, bruh. bruh. But look at his stats. Those are like, bruh, bruh as well. This man plays so good. He plays exactly like Jair in real life. Lastly, for our kicker, we have Mason Crosby here. These are inaccurate stats. These are fake stats. His kick range is max, trust me. We're just gonna go right into the draft. I kinda wanna get a running back because my quarterback stamina is not that good and I don't want him throwing and throwing and throwing. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just take this man Lloyd Lacey. His speed is max. Perfect. His stamina is damn near max. There's no reason to really look at anybody else. Um, there's other good players here, obviously. But Lloyd Lacey is going to be the guy that we add to the squad. So I've scouted the top four wide receivers in the second round. And all of these guys have come to the conclusion that none of them are really number ones. None of them are really the best wide receiver in the draft. You know what I mean? And I'm in the second round, so obviously that'll be the case. This guy, his hands are decent, but they have the potential to be spectacular speed is already pretty good all we need to do is get his stamina up i would love to go with ike cornell but the fact that his potential is only three and a half is alarming actually we're gonna go with cornell we're gonna go with ike cornell listen i'm not racist but look look at your favorite team right now like look at your favorite team right now who's your top three wide receivers what color are your top three wide receivers okay leave me alone just to prove i'm not racist we got ike cornell <laughs> We got Ike Cornell. We could really get both of those guys. I forgot we had um, a good amount of picks. Let's see what this Alshon Amor guys. Okay, we're getting Alshon Amor. I'm pretty sure that means love in French. We're gonna get him. Alshon Amor is gonna be heading the linebacker position next to Jair Alexander. He kind of looks like Patrick Mahomes. Um, That's cool. I think I'm gonna go ahead and go with this wide receiver here, Travis Anku, is going to be coming to the Green Bay Packers. So right now the team is Aaron Rodgers, Lloyd Lacey, our new rookie running back who we picked in the first round, Travis Anku, our new rookie wide receiver we picked in the first round, and we have him next to Ike Cornell. I think that we did a good job building an offense. We didn't get any offensive linemen, uh, and we're into the third round now. I mean, we could get this offensive lineman. His blocking or his strength isn't bad at all. Okay. This lineman has really good potential. We're going to take Prince Suckup. Offensive lineman Prince Suckup. He's coming to the team. Let's check out these two tight ends. Okay. Tylen Sproles, who doesn't really have the speed, but he can go all game. And his catching and strength are pretty terrible right now. But I think that we could turn him into something. We're going to pick up Tylen Sproles. Tylen the tight end. That's like a bar. That's like poetry. Come on. This guy, Dixie Gates, is really good at tackling, especially for someone his overall. So we're going to go ahead and take him. And oh my God, he's bad. We're going to trade him. The fans don't like it. The team doesn't like it. Aaron Rodgers is like, bro, what is going on around here? I'm out. God damn it. We're getting ready for some week one action against the Denver Broncos. If I'm not mistaken, the Denver Broncos have a new quarterback in town and his name is Russell Wilson and he comes to play. So I'm going to be bringing my three and a half star offense, my two star defense, and we're going to be showing Denver how we play in the Bay. One more thing to note, guys, I do have the difficulty on hard mode now. We are going to face teams that are like four and a half stars, five star teams, but they'll just actually be good teams instead of teams that are like actually boo-boo and the game just makes them insane so denver gets the kickoff things seem to be going swell for them our defense is not posing much of a threat
and that's seven points for the Denver Broncos. We receive a kickoff and get a good return all the way up to the 40 yard line. This is my offense. It looks like we have a lot of pieces, man. I'm gonna try to save Aaron's arm. I know that Aaron does not have the most stamina. So let's try to be like a really balanced offense. And when we like have plays like this, but we can get like bang, bang action. Great diving catch for my wide receiver, Travis Anku. That man goes, Ku. I think we're gonna look for him one more time. Travis, over the top, touchdown. All right, that was too easy. Is hard mode gonna be too easy? Cause that was too easy. With how easy that was, there's no way I'm not going for two. Travis Anku gets the first touchdown of the series. And he's gonna get the first two point conversion as well. This guy is showing us that it was a great idea to pick him alongside our white receiver. Another touchdown for the Denver Broncos. Russell Wilson is doing his thing and he scores the two point conversion. So what I wanna do with this drive here is I just wanna make sure that I'm taking the time off the clock. I'm gonna score and that's gonna be the last points of the quarter and we can go into the half with a one point lead. There's one minute and 13 seconds left on the clock. So I'm gonna stick to the run game. That's what I picked them for. My first round running back is showing us that he is a stud 27 yards on the game there. I'll show you guys this one more time. This guy, Woo! we're gonna have some fun with this guy. Let me know in the comments, should I change his name to Aaron Jones? Cause that's what he's playing like. I think we're gonna go for a pass here to TA. My boy, Travis Anku. He's gonna cut the defense over 15 yards on that nice little curl, comeback, whatever. Three yard run for my boy, Eddie Lacy. I mean, uh, oh! A little bit of lag there. Make sure to show you guys this one more time. This run was beautiful by my running back. So we're in the red zone, 24 seconds. I'm not really worried about them scoring. I think we can get a touchdown for our running back here. He's earned it. Nope. Two yard gain and he does not finish the play. So I don't know what we're gonna do here. I'm gonna look for a quarterback sneak. And Aaron Rodgers, the old man with the wheels, takes it himself in between two defenders. And that was really easy, I mean. We convert him to two point conversion. We did exactly what we said we wanted to do. Denver isn't able. Alexander, Jair Alexander makes a pick. Jair Alexander starts the season with an interception. And I think he's gonna make a lot of plays for us, guys. I think he's gonna make a lot of plays for us. So yeah, we're gonna keep pounding the run game. I just think that's gonna be our strength. If we have a nice balanced offense, we save Aaron's arm for when there's a big gain to be had. Bruh. And we overthrow our boy Travis Anku there. That's what you don't want. And that's going to happen because Aaron Rodgers' accuracy in this game, at least, is just, it's just not, it's not really good enough for his arm. Like, he can throw farther than he can throw accurately. So we're going to hand it off to our running back. Try to make a man miss, but he is able to complete the tackle to stop that from being bigger than a four yard gain. Quick screen pass to my tight end, T Sproles. He gets a couple yards, brings us up to the first down marker. Well, actually we're a couple inches short. That's disappointing. But let's look for our white receiver. Put a touchdown. Let's go, baby. That's why we got you, Cornell. That's why we got you. Hopefully I'm not offending you guys by saying white receiver. It's just all fun and games, honestly. No, I overthrew the two point. Oh man, we didn't even need a two point. I had an eight point lead. Denver gets the ball on the kickoff. Russell Wilson's having no problems bringing it up the field. He has not all day. And the Denver Broncos are able to tie the game up to finish the third quarter and we have to go strong. We can either waste out this entire two minute and have a two minute drill or we can just go, we can just go for it. I think we're gonna actually take it slow on the run game, go for the win, potentially win on a field goal. It just seems like the smartest thing to do. 
and I'm not trying to lose, so I'm gonna do the nope. smart thing. And we make a man miss. Nope. And we make another man miss. L. Lacey is off to the races, and he is going to go into the touchdown completely untouched. No one was able to stop him. Punches that man in the mouth. Makes this defender miss. One more. Hello. Goodbye. I'm out. Peace. 20, 15, 10, 5, the touchdown. I think that we are going to go ahead and make this a seven point game right down the middle Perfect. for my kicker. Mason Crosby is now one for one in his Green Bay Packers kicking career. Denver has the ball. Russell Wilson trying to do what he needs to do. Incomplete. They're going to go for it on fourth down. They keep it on the ground. It's a fumble. My defense making a huge play. Oh, yeah. No, we got to stack it up. We got to stack it up. T.A. Go. Catch. Oh, my God. T.A.'s too fast for him. Nope. He's too fast. Makes a man miss. Touchdown. 44-yard touchdown. Wonderful pass. He catches that perfectly in stride. And then it's a foot race. Almost catches up to him near the four-yard line. But he makes a miss. And Travis Anku. Is that his third touchdown of the game? Scary hours. Mason Crosby doinks that one, but it does count one more point for the Green Bay Packers. And we are now winning 36 to 22. Let's go, baby. We finished the first game of the season 1-0 with a 36 to 22 victory over the Denver Broncos. We started the game off and it was a shootout toe to toe. We had eight in the first quarter, they had seven. We had eight in the second quarter, they had eight. We had six in the third quarter on a missed two point conversion and they had seven to make it a tie game. And in the fourth quarter, we completely, you know, shut the door on them with a quick score, big play. And then we were able to recover a fumble and turn it on their heads to get a two possession lead and finish that game off. Detroit was able to win their first game, and so is Minnesota. Chicago doesn't win, and I'm not surprised. They're not very good. That was an impressive performance and an incredible atmosphere. Am I going to praise the team, or am I going to praise the fans? Definitely the team. Aaron Rodgers was mad. He's not mad no more. He's just a little bit sad. Uh, I think he'll be all right. After that four-touchdown, 179-yard gain, like big play after big play after big play, and also, when you get 142 yards from your running back, it's super easy to do what you need to do. So Anku put up 111 yards with two touchdowns and two blocks. Our receiver Cornell, he had a touchdown as well, 44 yards. We want to get him more involved next game. My offensive lineman that I got, Suckup, he had a great game. And then our two defensive players both had 10 performance games. And if we're going to get good defense from our defense, we might win a Super Bowl this year. That was just an all-around win for the team. If every game goes like this, man, we are not going to lose once. That was the Denver Broncos. Next, we'll be facing the Los Angeles Chargers. My boy Justin Herbert in the gang. Pretty sure they have Khalil Mack now, too. So, we are gonna be in for a Mack attack. But until then, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did like this video, like that would be great. Subscribe, that would be great. Share, that would be great. And I'm out. Deuces.